Alright, what is going on, my lovely people? Actually, I'm going to the wrong place. I have a question first before we get into all this. I had this huge thing planned. This gigantic, never-ending rant of epic proportions regarding all of the problems inherent with online, and especially with this terrible online system. But apparently they actually, like, uh, they apparently fixed some shit, so like, Apparently the uh, display of what your connection was with the other player was not accurate. They added a fourth bar to it, so now there's four bars instead of just three. Um, what else was there? In ranked matches now, you can back out of it if the connection is below the set threshold. I don't know what the set threshold is. I would assume it's if it's one bar or less, you can quit. Maybe two bars or less, you can quit. What else was there? I should actually go check that. Hang on, let me go check this shit out. Come on, patch notes. Where you at? Patch notes. Blau. Blau. Alright, so let me see here. Um, oh, that's another thing I wanted to check. Apparently, they you know, they had, um, why do I have easy fatalities? I didn't, oh, maybe I unlocked, oh, I only have one. I must have unlocked one in the crypt. Are you, that's wrong, that's wrong, there we go. Nope, that's still, fault. that's still fucked up. <laughs> that was one of the things they put, is that, oh, we fixed some of the, oh, wow, look at that. They actually... Maybe they're both just negative 18 then? Like, all of this frame data is exactly the same. This is just, like, what's different? Because, seriously, 0% damage. 0% block damage. I don't get... I don't get it. And how is that negative 19 recover and that's 51? Because I would assume a move does not recover 19 frames before it finishes. That'd be kind of fucked up. So, th so that was one of the patch notes, was that... Uh, many move list frame data corrections. Apparently not this one. And you can easily see it too. Like, let me just show you. I can fucking block mode every thong. Uh, let's see. No, wait, shit. Where, what am I trying to, where do I, what do I want to, what do I want to do? Oh, that is what I want to do. Okay. So you make a character duck. This only works for lows or overheads. But you make a character duck. And so now, you know, like just to show you, I do his overhead. They'll they start blocking high and then you can see like when I basically recover basically the difference between when he starts ducking and when I manage to jump that's when you see kind of what the frame data is so that looks kind of like minus five or so so let me just check and see what this says minus six damn I'm good <laughs> but so that's kind of how you can get an idea of recovery for things like that and so the frame data says that his EX uh, overhead should be neutral on block. That is very obviously not neutral. That is like at probably 20 frames, negative 20 on block, I would assume. So obviously that frame data is incorrect. That was one of the main things I wanted to check. So shout outs to you for still not fixing that shit. Um, let me see. I'm trying to look for ping meter accuracy improvements that was one of the things uh, you can now choose to not play a ranked match if the connection is below the set threshold matchmaking improvements when, when finding matches player skill rating algorithm improved which who gives a shit about that like you can't really quantify that you honestly without playing somebody you just can't quantify a player's skill win loss rating doesn't fucking matter because somebody could have gone 0 and 100 and then everything clicked and suddenly they've won 400 games in a row do you really think that seems like the kind of player that would be 400 and 100? Or should that be the kind of person that's 400? That kind of shit. So, I mean, you know, people are constantly improving. So, you know, their previous losses don't really aren't really relevant anymore. That kind of shit. Matchup knowledge. Uh, there's, there's too many things to quantify to be able to even give a shit about the player's skill rating. So, anyway. Uh, that is, that's neither here nor there. The thing that I wanted to fucking ask about. I was hoping some of you were particularly knowledgeable. Oops. In regard to everything. So just check this shit out, right? I can do this, and that didn't fucking work. And cancel that into x-ray, right? I can then do this, or not, and cancel that into x-ray, right? Like, I mean, obviously it's not hitting. It's not supposed to be hitting. That's not where the question is. So why can I do that? Oh my god. But that doesn't work. You cannot cancel the third one into x-ray. You can cancel one, you can cancel two, I'll even start mashing it, just... Oh, fuck you. You cannot do it. Look at how easy this is to cancel. So it's not like, it's not me fucking up executionally. So I was just hoping somebody would know, like, 
why does it work like that? Why can you cancel it on the first one and the second one? Let me actually, I wanted to check something. Damn it. This link is so damn hard. No, you can't do it there either. Well, I may, I may have fucked that one up. Nope. Yeah, you just, I don't understand. Like, is it just after a certain amount of juggles you can no longer cancel into x-ray? I don't understand it. So that's why I was hoping, like, somebody would have some sort of answer for me. Because I really do not understand why that works how it does. It's very confusing. But so anyway, so let me check this shit. We want to go see online, and we want to... I haven't tried to play any matches since then. I just went into a room and looked at it. And, I mean, it was showing me a hell of a lot of better connections than I was used to seeing. And also, like I said, they added a... Um, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I can't... Whatever. Whatever, then. This is probably actually a bad time. Ah, probably not a bad time. It's 3 p.m. I was going to say it's probably a bad time because it's a weekday, but it's not that all that early, so I should be able to find at least somebody. But it did... I mean, it really did seem like there was something fucked up with the connection display. Faction. Like, something was just not... Uh... <laughs> okay, dude. I'm going to assume booster... Oh, that's one of the, that was one of my main complaints actually that I was gonna pop off on. Um, apparently, the way the shit works is like you can actually go to the start menu in the middle of a match and you can quit out of the match from the start menu, and that's what gives you quitalities. But actually leaving, like actually pulling your connection and disconnecting from the match, doesn't count as a loss. Doesn't count as that kind of shit. And I always assumed it did. So now it definitely, like, that's hella weird that pulling your connection doesn't give the person that pulled the connection a loss. The person that it disconnected from, that's very odd. And it certainly uh, justifies all of my previous beliefs that, like, almost everybody at the top of the leaderboard was either a booster or somebody that was intentionally uh, figuring out a way to remove losses from people. And there are certainly people like that dude. Maybe that dude's hella good. I don't fucking know. You know, like, nobody knows whether or not that person's hella good without playing them. But, like, I played this dude who had a similar, um... Who had a similar ranking. They were something... Um... Shit, what were they at? They were, like... I don't know. Like, 400 wins, sub-20 losses. So I played this dude, and don't get me wrong, he was good. He knew what the fuck he was doing. I got blown up the first time because I didn't have any matchup knowledge. The second time, I kind of started to adjust. I almost beat him. Ran out of the lobby as fast as he possibly could. <laughs> like, and that's kind of generally, I don't know why people are so obsessed over having their win-loss rate like that. That's a low. I was blocking low, whatever. What the fuck? Uh, I tried to. I, try, I need to remember, like, uppercuts don't actually work as uppercuts. I'm playing terribly, I'm sorry. That didn't hit him, really? I can't believe that didn't hit him. Alright, so I can chip out here, which means I need to watch the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting, like, X-Ray or something. So I wanted a neutral jump to make sure I did not get hit by random armor. I didn't hit, really. Oh, fuck. Yo, that wake up projectile? Oh, come on! What? Do you okay? You think you can just duck that? Oh, well, fuck. Really? That didn't really? I mean, okay. <laughs> oh 
okay, dude. But yeah, this connection's fine, so I'm happy right now. Even though I'm playing like absolute shit, I'm missing the punishes. That's one of the most aggravating things, like above all, in everything to do with like this game is how deceptive and how awkward almost all block stun is. It's just it's got such an arbitrary amount of time behind it that it's really difficult to like actually punish things appropriately. <laughs> mine should have worked there, but mine just doesn't have the range that his does. Dude, this dude's waking up with fucking yeah like that right there that's punishable but I'm just not getting it really that's so dumb like why do you why do you keep doing that so easily punishable <laughs> please play smarter I'm so bad, I'm sorry. Alright, so let me see if I can actually get this fucking stupid chain. At least I got the chain, even though it didn't hit. Come on! With the fucking stupid block stun and shit. Ah, my fault. I just, I need to remember that the down three attack just isn't invincible in any way, shape, or form. I'm too busy talking to actually block. Come on! Come on! Man, why did that not hit? Like, real talk, why did that not hit? Kotal Khan has, like, why doesn't he have any bullshit hitboxes? He actually has, like, very honest hitboxes, and nobody else, and, like, everybody else has some fucking weird shit. Come on! Dude, that fucking move right there. That's punishable. That's 100% punishable, but I'm just, I'm not fucking getting it. I'm so bad. I'm gonna do one more match, and I mean, provided I win, because I have to end on a win, obviously. But yeah, I'm t I'm playing awfully right now. I don't know why I'm playing so awfully. I promise I am usually better than. It's because I haven't really played in a few days. I'm rusty. Like I'm nowhere near. Uh, I'm nowhere near solid enough at this game to be able to like actually take a break from it and maintain decency. I suck and you know you that's what you need to be playing consistently to like get from that point where you don't revert back in levels of suckage Round one. Fight. of course we're gonna get a spam I mean players don't know what else to do I don't know why I keep getting fucking back dashes Come on! That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I don't you ever use breakers? <laughs> it's usually smart to use breakers against a dude that's gonna hit you for 30 plus percent. I fucked that up. I waited way too long. I deserve that. I should have. I didn't land blocking, which is my own fucking fault. I could have blocked that, but I just didn't. Because I was holding down back and not the block button.
Come on! Oh wow, that was fucking weird. Come on! Alright. I'm playing awfully. Oh, thank you for the trophy, whatever the fuck that is. But I got my wins. I got my wins, and I'm out. I need, but I man, I'm just so like off. Like one of the things, one of you actually, I used it once. I used it once on this motherfucker, and not again. But that's one of you actually told me like, yo, dude, you need to be using this more often. And 100%, I agree. Like there are things, and I'm gonna show you right now. All of the things that like I know I should be doing. I'm promise I'm better than this. Like in my mind, I'm better than this. It's my hands that are the problem. <laughs> I need the shit that just directly accesses my brain so it tells me, yo, brother, this is what you should be doing, you fucking idiot. Stop just doing that shit over and over. So like this right here. Why, 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 are, you, why are you not giving me the special? Okay, well not that right there, but that shit, I need to be using that shit. That's a low into an incredibly fast overhead that gives me fantastic damage. Right there. I need to be using that. I need to be using more of this shit, because it's safe on block, it ends in an overhead, does fantastic chip, and it's ju it just mixes it up. Pure and simple. I need to be getting that bullshit, even though you can only do anything. Actually, you know what? Can you hit land that outside of a corner? Oh my good- oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Maybe I should not be- well, hmm, 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 hmm. That's really awkward. That's very awkward that you only get that much of a juggle from it. See, I could just be doing that. I mean, that's 29%. That's nothing to fucking sneeze at. So at the very least, that that was one of the things that I was killing. I don't think this will work. Wow, it did work. Pfft, I could just do that for 25%. Why the fuck not? Um, but yeah, that was one of the things I was concerned about. Or, you know, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> See, that's one of the I was actually because you can't combo into that shit. But that's so that's I need to use. I mean, number one, I just need to use that move more often. It's a ridiculously fast overhead. It, you get huge damage, like just dry. If I actually confirmed it properly. Let's just pretend I confirmed all that shit properly and I just got like 33% off of it. Fact of the matter is, I need to be mixing my shit up and I'm not online. Like, I, that's one of the biggest hurdles that you have to get over when you're playing a new game. Like, you know all this shit, but when you're up against somebody and you're playing, it's so easy to just revert back to, like, what you know will work. Just do this. Don't deviate. You know you're safe here. Like, no. I need to stop being safe. I need to start using this shit. I need to start using this shit in block strings and not just combos. Because that's, for some reason, that's apparently 100% safe. I don't know why. Let me actually check this shit. This is all stuff I can check. Because, you know, one of you... <laughs> you guys told me, like, yo, dude, like, that's... The AI... I mean, that... The frame data is completely incorrect. Yeah, that actually looks like it could very well be punishable. Let's see what that says. Because that... No. That does not look in any way, shape, or form like it. Let me actually check this shit out. Nope. Negative 10, so that's actually not as serious as I thought it would be. But this shit right here, okay, that's definitely safe. There is no way you're punishing that shit. You need like a three frame move to punish that shit. Um, this, I guess I can't really check that one, but that definitely looks. Stand. Oh, no, that is definitely punishable. That's listed as punishable, but I didn't really believe it. But that's... Wow, that is very punishable. Even that. Like, that's pretty much exactly the same. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Oops. Oh, not that. Must be quarter circle back. Oops. I don't know if that's safe. That doesn't look safe. But that's another move that I need to be using. That's an unblockable hit. Like, I can use that full screen and, you know, decently... Get some, actually, it doesn't even look like I can get some Oki off of it. Oops, my bad. Yeah, never mind. That has a shit ton of recovery. Never I will not be getting a safe jump or anything off of that. Point being, they have apparently fixed the online, which is 
fi I mean, not fixed, fixed, but that connection was perfectly fine. There was nobody to blame for any errors in that connection aside from myself. And I guess it's not really necessarily that, like, oh, they fixed the online, but they fixed the shit that tells you, oh, this is what the connection should be. So, you know, like, if it's how... Let's pretend this is Guilty Gear for a second. It's kind of like the opposite problem of what Guilty Gear Xard had at the beginning. For those of you that may not have experienced it or may not have been aware of it, at the very beginning, every single connection between consoles, so, like, it was PS3 and PS4 compatible, and you could play people from both consoles... Uh, in the same online system any connection from a ps3 to a ps4 or vice versa from a ps4 to a ps3 was listed as a four bar connection regardless of what the actual connection was and there were other connections that were just listed as four bars for no good reason but they were never four bars it was something else entirely but they were just listed at the beginning as four bars so you go into something you have no idea what the connection is going to be you don't know if it's an actual four bar connection you don't know if it's a good connection or a bad connection the online is just saying this is what it is i don't know what it actually is have fun enjoy roll the dice and that's apparently exactly what it was here except the other way around because like i said right now i am seeing even though it is a very small sample pool i am seeing a significant difference in the quality of listed connections that I have seen versus again before I was seeing almost all ones twos very few greens almost always yellow or red and then like in the player match shit it wasn't even showing me anything 90% of the time it was just showing me a blank ping and why do they show you the bars anyway why do they not just show the number the bars mean nothing we don't know if a 3 bar connection means you're between 60 to 80 ping, or if it's between 100 and 150 ping, or it's between 50 to 100. Nobody fucking knows that shit. I don't give a damn what color the bars are. Show me the number. That's what matters. <laughs> like, if I see anything sub 100 ping, that means it's playable. Anything above that, you're getting, you're risking, you know, the netcode kind of killing you a little bit. But I just don't understand why all of these companies continue to use these colored bars when the bars mean nothing show me the numbers it's kind of i mean they have to have access to the numbers in order to show you the bars so it's uh it's very irritating so anyway yeah hope you enjoyed that display of absolute scrubbiness on my part how did that not work hang on a second how did that not work oh you know what i think i figured out is that uh oh there we go word word Huh. Oh. Oh. Is this not working anymore? They did say they fixed something. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay. So it does work. It's very tight for him. I don't know. I don't know why. But it's difficult to land that in. That's frustrating. There it is. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna leave before I embarrass myself further. <laughs>